Well, there's the scene. The crowd's still coming in here at Croke Park. There were 56,000 here for the drawn game. It's Leash and Westmeath, Pawdy against Mikko. Phase two, and we're underway. Joe Higgins managed to get the hand in. Tom Kelly. Here's Munnerly. He's made up a lot of ground. Into Noel Garvin. Garvin off to Tom Kelly. Kelly looking for the first point and getting it. Leash in front of this Leinster final replay after three and a half minutes. Mangan takes the free. Glennon's got some space, but a long way out. And Glennon goes round Rooney, and Glennon has got it. That's a really good point. Umpire slow to put up the flag, but normal service resumed for Dennis Glennon and Crow Parker. Here come Leash. Parkinson. Ross Munnerly. Colin Parkinson. Sizing up the options. Bino McDonald. Unfortunate slip from Damian Healy. Here's Torrey Clancy. Close in at goal. Had some bad wides last week. Never going to miss from there, Torrey Clancy. And further outfield. James Davitt. Alan Mangan settles himself. Lots of air on it. He's got it, you know. A point behind again. Mangan has got two out of Westmead's three. First of three minutes to be added on, almost up. Now, the referee hasn't given the freeze, allowed the advantage. Dolan had been fouled, nobody around him. They're level. Five points apiece in Croke Park, and we're almost at half-time. Brian Morley to Alan Mangan, he scored two. Glennon is free ahead of him. Slow to give it to him, but Glennon deciding to have a go. He's had some bad wides, and that's a fantastic point from Dennis Glennon. One of the points of the game so far, and Westmead now lead for the first time. Westmead, it's going for them now. Brian Morley to Desi Dolan. Dolan lets it in towards Mangan. Michael Ennis is making a good run forward. Here's Ennis to put them further in front, and he's got it. Westmead really on a roll. It's Westmead who lead at half time as they continue this quest for their first ever Leinster senior football crowd. They lead Leash by seven points to five. 1949 was the last time they appeared in a Leinster final before last week. Here's Parkinson. Leash need this very badly, and he's given it to them. That's a really good score and such an important one. Now there's no foul here, Donald O'Donoghue to Alan Mangan, Mangan in the clear, can he convert, yes he can, Alan Mangan with his fourth point of the game, they've all been from play, and again it's double scores, and Westmead are in position to really push on home and win this Leinster title, here come Leash, they will have opportunities, they will have a lot to say, they're the reigning Leinster champions, Kevin Fitzpatrick, Fitzpatrick looking to respond straight away, doing it all himself, Fitzpatrick. And that's a very good point from Kevin Fitzpatrick, it's his second. The referee has always, already had a word with the linesman over here to tell him how much time to be added on, there'll be six minutes. The first target was to stay in Division 1 of the National Football League, the second was to beat Offaly. Then the expectation levels just grew and grew. They lead by three points in added time at the end of the Leinster final replay. Here's Bino McDonald, is there a chance here? A chance for Leash, oh! What a miss from Kevin Fitzpatrick! Oh, unbelievable. That was the drawing of the game, and he put it wide. And here in front of us, the Westmead supporters are coming out of the park, it's over! It. For the very first time, Westmead are Leinster senior football champions. They have made history. Tony O'Shea has led them to the promised land, and this is an unbelievable night for Westmead football, for the county of Westmead and for Pony O'Shea. These Westmead players under uh, Tom Craven, well, a victory over their bittersweet rivals would represent a remarkable day's work. Westmead hoping to get back on final day for the first time since the heady days of 2004. So away we go. Westmead getting the first touch there through Dara Daly. Ray Canellan taking it in here against Donica Tobin. Back to John Heslam, the UCD player outside of the boot. Has a go. Finds the range brilliantly. It's a great score. And that's a point to settle them down. Feeding it forward. 
And once again, that early ball is going in time and again. And they've got players inside like Eamon Wallace and Brian McMahon. It's Wallace this time. On to his left. Beautiful score. 18 minutes since Westmeath got their one and only point, and that kick out has been won once again by Meath. And they're just lining up now at this stage. And it's going to become a turkey shoot the way it's going. Eamon Wallace has got another. Connell and rolls it into Dempsey. Quickly laid off Heslin. Good work, Mark. Here's a chance, and once again it's Kieran Martin. It's another goal for him. Free kick quickly taken. They wait for it inside, and well they might because Brian McMahon saw the defenders deceived, and he finishes with a plum. Need the better, no question about that. And they're still going, and that's another one. Absolutely brilliant. Another for Brian McMahon, two in a row. It's finished here in the opening half. Meath 2-12, Westmeath 1-7. Shane Dempsey getting out there. Ah, oh, trying to chip it, but lucky to get it back here. Still, they move forward, and it's John Canellan again. Got the first point of the second half, and now he's got a second. Brian McMahon certainly is having a wonderful game. They come once more, and that one is cracked over the bar. Beautifully done by Stephen Bray. Paul Sharry. Waited for it, down to Dennis Glennon. Fed inside, it's Martin, he's got one goal! He's got a second. Another for Kieran Martin. Karun, John Heslin. Heslin with that left. Beautifully done. He's got a sixth. Takes it back. Held on to there, just about by Lynch. Now Ray Canellan. Canellan's shot. The umpires go back, have a look, and wave the white flag. Heslin takes the return ball into the D and over the bar. Seven for Heslin. The matter was 23 yesterday. It has been awful for Meath fans in the second half, but maybe now that'll change. Harnan's pass on to Mickey Newman, still Newman. Well stopped by the goalkeeper, Darren Quinn. Out as far as Kevin Maguire. That one is blocked down there. That shot by Ray Canellan. Still there. Martin, the goal scorer. Two goals already. Comes again. This and that one's over the bar, and they are level. Ten behind at one stage. The four minutes to go. Me 218. Westmead 218. His team has scored just one point in the last 15 minutes. Meanwhile, Westmead have scored one goal and seven points. Tom Cribben's team has momentum. After being well and truly out of it in the opening half, you heard our panel at half time. Nobody but nobody really gave Westmead a ghost of a chance. But they're coming again. And there was a lovely ball by John Egan into the corner. And again, it's Kieran Martin. Got the last point when he puts over the bar. He's fisted this one. And this one's got over the yep. bar as well. Westmead are beating Mead, and there's a minute to go. Kept in play here, Brian Menton laying it off brilliantly. Here's a chance. Harnan into the uh, goal area there where Brian McMahon has lost it, and it's turned over to Ray Canellan. Canellan looks for some support. The support player is Paddy Holloway on his shoulder. Back out to Canellan once again. The youngsters, 20 years of age, all the way down the field here, gathered in by John Canellan. Have you seen a better Westmead performance than this they've given in the second half? John Heslin now has a support player, may not need him. Goes for it, he scores! A goal by John Heslin to go with the nine points he's already scored. And surely now it's Westmead in the Leinster final. There is the final That's whistle, it. it's all over. We've seen history made at Croke Park this afternoon. An unbelievable contest. What a performance by Westmead in the second half. And the final score here is Westmead, three goals and 19 points. Meath, two goals and 18. They've won by four. What a day, what a football match at Croke Park.